today we have come with the topic uh, the the IMCI process okay so IMCI stands simply stands for integrated management of childhood illness or illnesses since there is not one it's a lot of illnesses so integrated management of childhood illness so the main aim of IMCI is to prevent uh, morbidity and mortality of uh, children that are below five years IMCI basically looks at young infants and uh, children between the age of uh, two months to five years. Okay, so now in uh, IMCI, there is a way children that are, that are children that are below two months or young infants are managed, and also there is also another way that um, children that are between two months to five years the way they are managed according to IMCI. So World Health Organization came up uh, with. Uh, IMCI as a strategy for management for especially countries, resource poor countries, so that they can effectively manage diseases. So the component. <laughs> the component of INCI are three in that the first component is to improve the technical skills of health workers okay so that health workers can better can better manage diseases that are found within the age group of uh, less than five years okay and then uh, the second uh, component of IMCI is to improve the general uh, management of childhood illnesses then the third component is to the third component is to improve family practices and family and community practices okay concerning our children management of children uh, that are below five years so uh, IMCI can be used by clinicians, nurses, and uh, doctors. And uh, today we have just come up with this lesson so that we can simplify your understanding of IMCI. To better understand IMCI, there are some real reference charts that can be used or booklets that you can use, but we are trying to condense them within this lesson. So the steps that are involved in IMCI includes assessment, classification, identification of treatment, treatment, counseling and follow-up so these are the six steps that are involved in IMCI so there are about there are about there are six steps that are involved in IMCI okay so I've, I've already indicated that IMCI is meant for resource poor countries and if I'm talking about the sub-saharan region okay so the IMCI conditions or conditions that are conditions that are managed using IMCI within the sub-Saharan region. You can remember them using the map D. Okay, so that, that is map HD or PAM HD. Or you can just use dump H. Okay, what do I mean? So what are some of the common conditions that are managed under IMCI within the sub-Saharan region? So we are talking of measles, malnutrition and malaria. So this is M represents three diseases, measles, malaria, and malnutrition. Okay, then A is for anemia. P is for acute respiratory infection, and the commonest is C, pneumonia. Okay, so H is for HIV, and D is for diarrhea. 
but you need to know that anemia and HIV is found on other diseases. The commonest diseases being ma that is being malaria, measles, malnutrition, diarrhea, and acute respiratory infections. Okay, which is a pneumonia. So now, this mnemonic, I've tried to break it down so that we remember it using your palm. Okay, when, by remembering using your palm, I'm saying P for pneumonia. So pneumonia is for acute respiratory infections. Okay, then A for anemia. Then M for those three diseases that I've mentioned. And then H for HIV and the like. So you can also use damp H. Okay, then you can remember the INCI conditions. Okay, so what are the general danger signs? But you have to look out for in children below five years according to INCI. So the general danger signs that you can look for are convulsion. Okay, so it's convul the baby's just you have to see if the baby is convulsing now or there's history of convulsing. Then you can check if the child is lethargic or unconscious. Okay? If you can also check if the child is not able to drink or breastfeed. Or feed if the child is uh, not is, uh, stopped breastfeeding. Then you can also uh, check if the child vomits everything. So the general danger signs according to IMCI is convulsion, lethargic or unconscious, not able to drink or breastfeed, and vomit everything. Okay, so these are the danger signs of management. Now, how are we going to manage cases according to IMCI? Okay. <laughs> So we managed using this one. You can simplify it using ACT. Okay, that is assess, classify, and treat. Assess, classify, and treat. Then these other things will follow after. So why am I putting them as ACT? So ACT is for A. What do what happens during assessment? So in, during assessment, remember that what happens is just give ALT. These are mnemonics. Okay, give ALT. What happens during assessment? You have to greet or welcome the patient. This is very, very important so that you promote cooperation. Then I, you have to introduce yourself. So it's introductions. That is for I under, in, 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 under the, this mnemonic give. Then there is something that you also need to check for immunization status. So I is for also check in checking immunization status or immunization status of the baby. All right. So this is what you also need to give. That is the Z E. So now give. So the E there in front is for establish type of visit. V visit. Okay. You have to establish the type of visit, whether it is first visit or it is follow up visit. So. Establishing type of visit, so even then ALT, okay, in assessment, you see, ask, look, and and touch, okay, ask, look, and touch, or ask, look, and feel. So you have to do these things, okay. So now, with this said, the things you ask for are the feeding pattern, or if patient is vomiting. These are the things that you ask for during your assessment, okay? And then the things you look for 
is convulsion. Okay, if there's history of convulsion or if the patient is convulsing right there and then. And then you look for if the child is unconscious. Alright, then under classification, IMCI conditions are classified according to a triad of colors where we have green, yellow, and red. Or um, red, so that's the top of it as well. It's for a patient who is stable. Yellow, a patient that may need treatment, and red, patient that needs urgent treatment and needs to be referred. Okay, then in the act, according to the IMCI process, T is for treatment. Okay, so I know in the in the steps there is identify the treatment and the treat. So I've just omitted the identify treatment part of it. Then I've just said the treat. So when you are treating, you have to use. Uh, for drugs, if you have followed some of our lessons, we say when you are treating, you use the mnemonic NES. Okay, what we mean when we say you use the mnemonic NES, when you need to know the name of the drug, okay, you have to identify the name of the drug that is supposed to be given, okay, the use of the drug, the NES responsibility, the side effect, and the education that needs to be given. So that is the next mnemonic for treatment or for each and every drug that you caught when you're treating. So now, during assessment, we said give a routine. So for give, that is your first paragraph. Your first paragraph as you are writing your notes, you, you, you give it the one paragraph. So give one paragraph. So give, that is greet or welcome patients. So you write your welcoming remarks as you are writing your notes there. Okay. Then you write the introduction. Okay. The introduction of yourself. And then you check for immunization status by asking for the under five cult. Okay. Then establish the type of visit. So this you can put it under one paragraph as you are welcoming the patient. Then the next paragraph can have ask. What do you ask for? The, you ask for the patient for feeding pattern and if the patient is vomiting everything. What do you look for? You look for if the patient is lethargic or unconscious or if patient is convulsing right at the point when you are examining the patient. So that's what you look for. Then treat. Treating, you use a nurse. Name of the drug, use of the drug, okay, responsibilities of the nurse, okay, side effect, and the education to give. So that is using nurse here on assessment. Okay, so that is, your, you need to identify, you need to use your knowledge of pharmacology to identify the treatment. That's when you can now tabulate your nurse nicely, the, the name, use, and everything. Then, classification. Classification triage of IMCI is green. So green is for patient to go home and to give IEC. Mostly it's for patient to go home and give IEC. Okay, then for yellow is to go home and you give treatment. Then for red, you treat and refer. If you are at the clinic, you can refer to the hospital for further management. But it's important to know that for diarrhea, once you manage according to plan C, the patient may not be referred because the patient would have recovered. Alright, then the treatment is the name, using NACE. And I've explained what the NACE is all about in the treatment, okay? To do with um, everything that is required there. Then afterwards, you have to cancel the patient. So how do you cancel the patient? I'm just saying IFF. So here, the most important things when you're canceling a mother concerning children is to cancel the mother on immunization. This is very, very important. So that is I in if I F F. So you cancel the mother on immunization so that the baby can have all the vaccines that it, the vaccines that it needs. Then feeding the mother needs to be taught about okay. the so now. We are saying feeding, so the mother needs uh, to be taught on uh, how to prepare meals for the baby. Baby needs uh, special meals that are easily digestible. So the mother needs to be taught about how to prepare meals for the baby. Okay, the foods that the baby can eat because there is also an issue of weaning. So the mother needs to be taught about the foods that she, she or she can use after the baby 
after winning. Okay, then family planning. Family planning is very important. When you space children, you are allowing for better growth of the other one. So family planning is very important thing because when the mother has uh, immediately she has uh, given birth, immediately she, she, she stops breastfeeding, she, or she needs to start um, uh, family planning, okay? Of course, when she's still breastfeeding, there's that lact lactation and nodia. Okay, so as a kind of family planning, because she's less likely to conceive this if she's uh, breastfeeding the baby exclusively within uh, six months. So, what we are saying is that the mother needs to start uh, family planning so that there is enough space to allow the other child to grow very well. So, that is it on family planning. I'm saying these are very important. It's very important you cancel the mother on IFF, these three things. Of course, you also have to cancel the mother on the disease itself. So, the issue of hygiene can come in. Cancel the mother on the uh, issue of hygiene in terms of uh, the intensives that a baby will use and other things. Then, follow up. You need to tell after you have seen the mother the number of days that uh, she can uh, still be at home and come back for review. It can be after two days, it can be after three days based on your assessment. It can even be after 14 days or 30 days, especially where you are suspecting eh, a chronic illness. So it's important that you establish this. So we have been talking about INCI and our main aim was to improve your flow of um, information uh, uh, concerning INCI. So what have you been talking about? We have talked about the steps that are involved in INCI. Okay, the steps that are involved in INCI, we have talked about them as assessment, classification, identification, treat, uh, um, identification of treatment, then treatment, then counseling, and then follow-up. Okay, these were further simplified in case management as the ACT, ACT, that is ACT. Assessment, classify, and treat. Okay, so they were further reduced here. But uh, before that, we discussed that uh, we have uh, the following conditions under INCI. So the conditions you remember them as M A P map according to your geographical location. So here we're saying according to your map. So according to my map, we have measles, okay, malaria, malnutrition, anemia, and Pneumonia. Pneumonia, of course, representing acute respiratory infection. Then we have HIV, diarrhea, and we also have EA infection. Okay? Then we also have here PAM, HD, okay? You can always add an E there for EA infection. Okay? Damp, you can always add an E there for EA infection. So these are the common IMCI conditions. Then the danger signs includes convulsion, uh, the patient can be lethargic or unconscious, and these are CNS symptoms. So they, are they, are, um, they are central nervous system symptoms. So when you are looking for these signs and symptoms, you look for these CNS symptoms. And then when you are asking for danger signs, you ask for GIT symptoms. So what are the two GIT symptoms here? This is not able to drink or breastfeed or vomiting everything. So on general danger sign, we have those that affect the central nervous system and we have those that affect the GIT. So these danger signs, you need to ask them. Of course, that is after you have greeted the mother, you have introduced yourself, okay, you have taken the immunization status, but now, you have established a type of visit, then you ask for GIT symptoms and look for CNS symptoms. Okay? Then T is for um, T is for touch, okay? Or feel. Okay, you need to touch and feel for those signs and symptoms. Okay. Alright, so these are the danger signs, of course. Uh, each and every the disease, like when you're talking about pneumonia, strider, wheezing, chest in drawing can be danger sign. When you're talking of anemia and malnutrition, um, the danger signs that you can see may include the, the, the tumor of both feet. Okay, and when you have categorized like that, then it means they will be under classification, they will be under red. When there's a danger sign, then they are categorized under red. Okay, and then we have yellow where you give treatment and let the patient go home. Then we have green where you just let the patient go home and you give IEC. 
Okay, so that is according to IMCI. So this is what we have been looking at uh, in this lesson in a, in, a, in a nutshell. So thank you very much. Please review the, the IMCI chat booklet for deeper understanding of what IMCI is all about. Thank you very much.